before we explain the fundamental of gimbal movement, we need to understand what camera movement is first. There is some terminology here, so from now on, I will use these terms to describe a certain camera movement. Panning is the most common and most frequently used camera movement you ever see. Panning is the movement of rotating your camera horizontally in a fixed position. It means you can pan right to left or left to right as long as your camera stays at the same spot. Not moving, just the direction it faces change. Tilting, on the other hand, is moving your camera vertically in a fixed position. Same as panning, you can tilt up to down or down to up, and still, your camera is stationary only the angles are changing. The next is dolly. Dolly is the movement that your camera goes forward and backward, like on a dolly car as its name suggests. This movement can be performed on a mobile platform, such as on a track or on a motorized vehicle. You can also use a camera slider to achieve the same effect. Technically, your camera is not changing its facing during the dolly move, but in actual practice, you can pan or tilt a little bit to maintain the position you want. Same as dolly. Trucking is you move your camera left and right on the track. In most cases, you will hear this as dolly left or dolly right because this movement still looks like on a dolly cart. But truck is the correct word to describe this movement. The last movement is booming. Booming means you move the camera vertically up and down at the same spot, unlike the tilting in which camera is fixed and only angles changes. Booming allows the camera to go directly up and down but not moving around. Sometimes you will hear people say jib up or jib down, which usually refers to the same camera movement. You need to understand that pretty much 90% of the modern camera movement are combined or extended from these classic camera movements. To deliver a cinematic look, gimbal moves are also needed to be performed based on these essential cinematic languages. You need to keep this in mind and practice to regulate your gimbal. Otherwise, you just push your camera around and your footages will look a bit messy, even a smooth and stabilized though. Alright, now you understand these terms for different camera movements. So in the next class, we will discuss how to achieve these movements by using different modes on this VU AK2000C. See you guys in the next class.